Good afternoon, everyone. So today, I have a special knife that I want to show everybody. Now, I've had uh, a bunch of, uh, you know, progress uh, short videos on this one. And uh, this is finally the end of it. And a um, little longer video, of course, not a short, so we can get a little bit more details and a little better, better look to it. Those shorts can only last a minute, so you can't get an awful lot of information in that. So, anyway, here it is. Yeah, I know. It's it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's one of those one of those knives that when you know all of us knife people they go into a you know a store, a gun store, or wherever they they have lots of knives and and you spot something and that you haven't seen or you've been looking for and you get that look on your face, <laughs> kind of a deer in the headlight look, and. Uh, Happens to all of us that are knife people, so that's just the way it is. <laughs> anyway, this one, this one is called a cowboy bowie. All right. Now, it's quite a bit of. Well, as you can see now, the sheath, the sheath does have some uh, fancier work on there. You know, I did, uh, I did the punch stamping, and uh, and then there's the extra piece right up at the top here. That's a reinforcing piece. Okay. So. Um, You'll also notice here that this thing right here, that's not a snap. That's called a button stud. Okay, it comes off really easy. This is a traditional one. I, I've showed this on another one of mine, um, my knives before. But this is a big stud, okay? Now, these these big ones right here, they're half an inch, half an inch in diameter. Uh, these type of sheaths were used to, uh, to put in the belt, okay? And that stud catches the belt. All right, that's for one, you know, for the cross draw guys and things like that. The reenactors, the ones that uh, that like to be a little bit more um, traditional, okay. But I like to have a retaining strap on my knife, so you don't, you certainly don't have to have it, you know, if you don't want to, if you just want to pull the knife out. But anyway, it, it looks cool, it works good, and it's not hard to use. Uh, sometimes snaps can get worn out over time. It takes a long time, but these are these are pretty good. All right, here we go. Enough enough with the sheath. Whew. Yeah. And look at that handle too. Jeez. I got some really good tiger here, I tell you. My goodness. Now there's those loveless bolts on there too. Those aren't traditional, but they they look like the old uh, uh, the old way that they used to put handles on. They put a um, a copper or brass tube through the handle and then they put another piece of brass through that and then they peen it okay uh, a lot of work for you know of course back in the day they didn't have these fancy ones and of course the lantern hold it isn't isn't traditional either but you know now uh this one is is obviously made from a uh, uh vintage horseshoe rasp okay it's about 1095 steel uh real good steel really really rugged holds a good edge and um and then, of course, I put that uh, brass blade guard. Of course, that is a traditional feature of, of the cowboy bowie knives, all right? Now, the other thing here is that handle. It looks like it's just a straight straight handle, which was the type that they used in the past. They'd have just a, a broomstick-type handle shape. Uh, I was kind of concerned about that because I didn't think that felt all that good in the hand. And, uh, you know me, I, I like my handles have that... Uh, that stop at the end from keeping your hand, you know, from sliding off when, especially when you're chopping with one of these. This is more of a fighting knife, but you know, it's it's a reenactor's knife. Anyway, so what I did was, and you probably can't see it, but it tapers. Okay, it tapers from here out. Okay, so it's thicker here than it is down here, and maybe and just a little bit here, not so much on that side, but on this side. So it made all the difference in the world. It it feels good, and of course that's a long handle too. That's five inches, five inch handle. And let's see, I think the blade was about eight, eight and a half, no, eight and three quarters. So eight and three quarters, and it's fourteen inches overall. Uh, the handle with the guard on it is about five and a quarter. Okay, and by the way, this this knife is spoken for. Uh, sorry, but if if anybody wants a knife for me, like I've always said, please join my wait list. Okay, and and if you'd like to. Uh, Subscribe to my channel. That'd be cool, too. We're getting close to that, that thousand mark every day here getting more and more people. So it's uh, it's it's pretty cool. Thank you.
for all the ones that have subscribed and all the comments too. Uh, we are having a little trouble with the comments. Sometimes we lose them. Okay, um, I don't know what's going on with YouTube there, but uh, there'll be a comment going on there, and all of a sudden it disappears. Um, I don't know. Anyway, so if you if you say something on on there and you don't see it, let me know, and uh, we'll put it back on again or something like that. It's it's a YouTube thing, uh, some kind of glitch. Anyway, back to the knife. So, uh, just a just a cool badass type knife. Traditional cowboy type style and of course the the horseshoe rasp. I mean, you know, what more could you ask for and it feels good in the hand You know, you can it's 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 fast. It's a fast handling knife even, even though it's a big sucker, you know, it's a really you know, Big knife So all right That's it. Oh one other thing uh, You may be able to see it in the video All my guards are silver silver soldered on Okay, I don't just hammer them on there or, or fit them on and epoxy them. These are silver soldered. Some of them, this this one isn't pinned because it's too thin of a uh, stock. Uh, but it is silver soldered and then of course everything is epoxied on with the handle and other things. Really rugged construction. I like to take the extra steps to make sure that the knives are going to hold up for, you know, generations. It's, uh, that's just the way I am. That's the way I, I like to build things. So, anyway, as you can see also it's got an aged finish. Uh, that's that dark dark aging acid etching that I use and I have a couple other method methods that I add to that as well so anyway all right we'll put it back in there and there it is again yep thanks for watching everybody got a um, got another one here it's a uh, Missouri Bowie I think I'm yeah I did I showed the blank that I had made up with along with this one uh, that's gonna have a coffin handle on it it does have a co coffin handle and it's it's a frame handle okay so this is a little different um i'm going to show the construction of this is as i go here um that actually has to be cut down the tang has to be cut down and then another piece of metal which is the frame that goes around the tang okay because you can't get you can't get that guard being this thin it's hard to explain i have to show it but the guard is uh, narrow fitted up to the end of the blade there and the end of the handle is is wider than that so you can't get the guard on without making a frame handle construction okay I'm doing that on a on another big well two big boys those v44s that I've been talking about too um, those have been in the progress in progress now for quite a while and uh, that's a frame handle construction also so you put the frame hand frame on you weld it back together again pin everything and and it's all good to go but uh, anyway, so stay tuned for that. We're gonna have we're gonna have some videos on how I'm doing that, and uh, lots more other knives coming along too. So anyway, thanks again for watching, and uh, again, please subscribe if you would. And uh, thanks, thanks everyone for watching. We really appreciate it. We'll catch you in the next one.